Hello everyone, okay so today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix this and how to troubleshoot this uh, ceiling LED so basically uh, b before you buy uh, this LED uh, you need to troubleshoot first uh, to trace what is the problem uh, that might cause the LED to malfunction so it is either the LED itself or either with the driver uh, so basically in order for you to trace uh, what is the problem so the first thing that you need to do is you need to have a multimeter so this is the multimeter and you, s you turn it on and you set it to this uh, buzzer icon here so doing that uh, use it positive and negative <coughs> and you can see here it already labeled which is the posi positive side so uh, the red one is positive so I'm going to put the red here and the, the black one here okay so as you can see it lights up so that means the the first LED is working so let's go to the second one so it's the second one is working let's go to the third one and this one is also working how about this one yes this one is working and also this one so this one is not working so we're, we are going to label that with our sharpie marker here I'm going to label that and just circle it yeah just like that okay we, we need to proceed this process until we finish checking all of the LEDs so let's go here this is okay this is good it's good good hmm seems like this one is not good so we're going to label that too okay good this one is not good and you can see the burn mark right there yeah, you can see that brown spot that is the burn mark so this one is not good this one is good okay okay this one is not good Label that. Mm, and also this one. It's not good. and this one so this one is also not working so we have six LEDs that is not working which is already been damaged so we're going to so here we know that uh, the LED is the problem and not the driver so basically how do you how you want to know if that uh, you need to replace the driver so if you if you check every single LEDs and everything is uh, looking good and there are no uh, abnormalities or everything is uh, working fine, so it means that you need to replace the driver. That is the uh, the way on how you want to know if you need to replace the driver or not. So basically, since we know that this is the main problem here, so we are going to replace the damage led with the you know we have extra um, broken led set so we are going to take 
the good LEDs from this panel and we're going to replace it uh, on this uh, broken one so what you need is also, of course you need a solder and we will desolder it first so okay the reason why I use uh, this one to replace and put everything in here is because I have extra broken LEDs here so I will need to sacrifice uh, one uh, panel LED panel to replace an another set of uh, broken LEDs so basically I will use a lot from this one to replace this set and this set so basically this will be uh, the one that I will be sacri sacrificing so so in order for you to do uh, to fix this you need to desolder every single broken LEDs okay so how to remove the LED uh, you need to use this uh, hot air gun set it to 400 degrees Celsius but if you don't have this equipment you can use candle or maybe perhaps you can use uh, iron so uh, here you just use a flux apply the flux on top and heat uh, apply heat from below of the LED circuit board and wait till about take your tweezer and once uh, the heat is even you can freely move it from the board so right now I can't move it so you just need to wait for a while There you go. Oops. So after removing the LED, we need to test uh, the LED again uh, before attaching it to the faulty um, LED board. So basically, we need to test it just like what we did before can see the reflection there it's that means it's okay oops it's sticky there you go it's okay that one is okay okay what about this Okay, and last one. There you go. Okay, so for this one, uh, make sure to put it on the right polarity. So I've marked the LED with the black sharpie. You can see that dark means positive section. So I'll align this on top of this one. Just like that make sure to put a solder on top of the board because later on we will heat it up from below and the LED will attach to the board right Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is the LEDs that has been replaced. You can see there's a little bit burn mark there. We will clean it up. So just to test if it works or not. So I'm going to turn on the lamp. Yeah, there you go. So you can see 
all of the LEDs are now working. So yeah.